One anchor outperformed 10 others in testing in the soft mud bottoms of the Chesapeake Bay. Bruce, CQR, Danforth, Delta, Lumar, Manson, Mantis, Rockna, Spade, Ultra, all weighing between 35 and 46 pounds, were pitted against the 21-pound American-made adjustable fluke Fortress FX-37. Members of the boating media, representing over one million readers, were invited aboard the research vessel Rachel Carson to witness four days of testing in August of 2014. The test team included respected marine consultant and product tester Chuck Hawley as independent reviewer and commentator. During four days of testing, the team launched and retrieved anchors, 12 different anchor configurations, five times each for a total of 60 tests. Pull after pull, the team recorded data with state-of-the-art equipment. The Fortress FX-37, weighing about half the weight of most of the other anchors, was the peak performer in both the 45-degree and 32-degree fluke angle positions. We just tested the FX-37 with the 32-degree angle and we got very good performance, an average of around 900 pounds, a peak of close to 1,400 pounds. When the anchor came up, it was full of mud and a few shells. And interestingly, it's one of the few anchors that's shown us shells, meaning that we think that it has to really penetrate deep through the mud before it gets to a layer of shells. We had the fifth test of the Fortress FX-37 with the sand position 32 degrees. And uh, boy, it was, uh, it was really a good test. Really similar in many ways to the Mantis, only with much higher holding power. When the four days of testing were complete, the 10 competitors' anchors and the Fortress FX-37 in two configurations each had five launches and retrievals. And when all the data was calculated and averaged, it was the Fortress FX-37 at the 45-degree angle, weighing in at only 21 pounds, which achieved the highest loads with four-day averages of over 1,800 pounds per test. Weighing much less than every competitor in the test, Fortress displayed superior holding power. Journalists attending the testing sessions commented on Fortress's performance and wrote in major magazines. There was no stopping the performance of the FX-37 once it set into the mud. From all calculations, the Fortress FX-37 was buried 13 feet in the mud, a testament that when set properly for the conditions, the Fortress digs in and stays. The Fortress FX-37 at the 45 degree fluke angle was the overall holding power winner with three sets holding over 1,000 pounds and two sets exceeding 2,000 pounds. Fortress's anchors performed best in the four day anchor throwdown. Over the full course of the testing, Fortress and Danforth style anchors dominated the competition made in America from an aluminum alloy that is half the weight of steel, rust-proof with adjustable fluke angles, and it disassembles for easy storage. The test-proven anchor, stronger, faster, lighter, Fortress Marine Anchors.